Hey guys, and welcome to Let's Cook a Lean and Green. Okay, so if this is your first time joining me, welcome. My name is Melissa, and I am an independent coach for Optavia. And so what we're doing tonight, um, on the five-in-one plan, we eat five fuelings, and we have one lean and green. And so what I try to do every week is I try to bring y'all a lean and green, what Scott and I are having for our lean and green. Uh, sometimes it can get pretty elaborate. You know, we can make something fancy or we can make a big casserole or something fun like that. And other times I keep it super simple, y'all. And that's just real life. And so tonight I needed something quick. I had a lot of phone calls tonight. I'm actually running pretty late for my lean and green. I'm a little bit hungry, I'm not gonna lie. And um, so tonight I'm making something super simple. I'm doing burgers on the grill with a little bit of barbecue sauce on top at the end. One condiment. In fact, I'm gonna get my sous chef. I just heard him come in. I'm gonna get him to help me and put the burgers on the grill. Hey, honey. Yes, ma'am. Can you go start the grill? Yes, ma'am. <laughs> it's a 96.4, so this counts as a leaner. It's gonna be a four and a half ounce burger. That's what I'm gonna have to weigh it out once it's cooked because the vegetable I'm gonna make is broccoli slaw and it has quite a bit of cheese in it. And so that counts as one fourth of our protein, the amount of cheese. So I only get three fourths of a protein from the hamburger meat. Okay, I'm gonna put all this in the description box, so never fear. All right, so I'm gonna make some slaw, and the way we do that is with broccoli slaw. Now this, um, my sous chef, he picked this up for me, and he didn't pay attention that it had carrots in it, and all slaw mix might have carrots in it. So I've got to kind of go through and pick out the carrots, because carrots are not on the five and one. So to make sure that I stay within my guidelines, I gotta take the carrots out. So I'm gonna do this. So the way this comes together, and after you do that, I'm gonna show you how to mix it up. Y'all, this is super simple. I'm gonna mix it up, I'm gonna stick it in the fridge, he's gonna grill the burgers, and that is gonna be that. Bam. Bam, that's right, he said bam. So all it is is slaw mix, light ranch dressing, reduced fat cheddar cheese, and a little bit of crumbled up turkey bacon. And you mix it all together and yum, it's delicious. Okay, let me get this in the bowl. I'm gonna weigh it. The recipe is from Sandy's Kitchen and she says one and a half cups. And this is one serving, so I'm gonna double it. Um, but I'm actually gonna weigh it, because it's broccoli. So I'm gonna weigh it according to our vegetable curve conversion chart to see just how much the broccoli should weigh. All right, let me get that going. Okay guys, I made a judgment call on the slaw. There was no way I was gonna be able to pick out all those little slivers of carrot. <laughs> so I looked at the carb count on the bag and it's really low. Um, the carb count for a full lean and green needs to be between 15 and 20 carbs. Well, we're having burgers that have no carbs in them. And so all of our carbs are coming from our vegetables. We're gonna have one carb in a condiment, but we're counting that as a condiment, so I'm not concerned about that. So we're fine, we're fine. Um, if you can find slaw mix that doesn't have carrots in it, all the better, but I think we're good. I think we're good. Measured out the cheese, it calls for, she said a fourth of a cup of reduced fat cheese, so I actually weighed it. Um, a fourth of a cup on my reduced fat cheese says it should weigh 28 grams. So I did that twice, 56 grams. So the cheese is going in. So that's why I'm only getting uh, three fourths from my hamburger because the cheese is gonna count as part of my lean. All right, so there's the cheese. It also called for one tablespoon, and this is for one serving, so I doubled it, two tablespoons of turkey bacon crumbled. All right, so I looked on the turkey package. Y'all, I'm getting serious about this. And it was 45 calories for one slice. Well, I know that, and they're counting that as a condiment. So I know that a condiment is 30 calories or less, one carb or less. Well, the bacon doesn't have any carbs and has 45 calories. So that would be three fourths, or I'm sorry, two thirds of a piece of bacon. So that's what I did. <laughs> I crumbled up two thirds of a piece twice because this is two servings. So y'all, I'm serious. When I'm telling y'all that I am on plan, this girl is on plan. All right, there is no fudge in here. Now the carrots is a little bit of a fudge, but like I said, I checked the carbs. I think we're good. All right, let me show you. 
So it's all going into the bowl. I don't need the scale anymore. And now I'm gonna put four tablespoons of ranch dressing. And it's the and they and it's specifically called for the great value light. So that's what I got. Or that's what Scott got for me, I should say. All right. So this little measuring cup, my handy dandy measuring cup, is exactly four tablespoons, which is a fourth of a cup. Get that in there. And this is gonna be um, our healthy fat. Is that right? Yeah. Let me make sure. Yeah, so this two tablespoons of this counts as one healthy fat, and this is for me and Scott. All right, so now I'm gonna put it in here, and then we're gonna mix it all together. I think it's gonna be really good, y'all. I hope so. Scott and I both love ranch, cheese, bacon, and broccoli. I've actually never had this. So, so far we have used one condiment in here, which was the bacon, believe it or not. So I had one condiment earlier, so that leaves me with one condiment for the day. So that one condiment is gonna be my G. Hughes barbecue sauce on my burger. This looks great, y'all. And I know y'all are gonna think I'm crazy, but I'm gonna weigh this so I'll know exactly what one serving is. <laughs> I'm not gonna eyeball this. I'll do that when it's time to eat. Okay, All right, I'm gonna stick this in the fridge. Okay, y'all, I got this, this thing from my niece's fundraiser and I've been dying to try it. It's one of those silicone things that you cover up a bowl with. I've never used them. All right, please don't dump over. Come here, honey. Hold that side. Like a, well, it's supposed to be easy. Hair net. <laughs> I've never worn a hair net, y'all. Oh yeah, that was pretty easy. Yeah. Look at that. Now Isn't that you cool? Give it a, a little shake, shake, shake. Okay, hang on. Pull it down. That's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. Okay, I'm gonna. That's like a drum. Oh, that's hilarious. Okay, I gotta get that away from him. <laughs> I'm gonna go put this. I'm gonna go put this in the fridge. Oh, you don't take it up like that. Well, no. While I our burgers that was are the cooking. Of the no, lid. it's covering it. Yeah. Like saran wrap. Yeah. Okay, guys. Um, our burgers are almost done. Oh, I was gonna show you. Hold on. Okay, this is my go-to barbecue sauce, you guys. The sugar-free G. Hughes. I love it. This is the maple brown, maple brown sugar. Is that right? Yeah, maple brown sugar. But they, ha I really love the original, but I wanted to try this. So, uh, one tablespoon is one condiment. Let me make sure that's right even with this one before I... Yes, because a two, two tablespoons is a serving, and it's only 10 calories, but it's two carbs. So one tablespoon is a condiment because remember a condiment is 30 calories or less, but one carb or less. So even if it only has 10 calories, if it's got more than one carb, you've got to count it. You got to count it right. You see him over there? Say hi, honey. <laughs> Sitting in his chair, waiting to go get the burgers waiting off the, the grill. He's waiting on the burgers. Okay, so what I did is I put, I only had one condiment left for the day, so I chose to put it on my burger. And so I spread one tablespoon of burger on, I mean, one tablespoon of the barbecue sauce on my burger out on the grill. Now we're gonna weigh our slaw to see how much one serving is. Okay, here we go. This thing is so cool. It does sound just like a drum. All right, so I'm gonna pour it into this bowl and find out how much two servings weighs and then of course I'll divide it. This is very colorful and pretty too. It's got the, looks like it has a little bit of purple cabbage in there. Okay. 13.79 is two servings because I doubled the recipe. So 
So 6.9 roughly is how much one serving is. So I'm gonna put that on a plate. Okay, so now we're gonna get this on here and I need 6.9. 6.9 ounces is what I need. Make sure that is zero. Let's see, let me get situated here. This is awkward, hold on. Y'all can still see it. All right, zero. Now I need 6.9. Wow, y'all, this is gonna be a whole lot. Okay, I just measured it, you guys. That's three servings of a lean and green, I mean, three servings of our greens right now, so I'm just waiting on our burgers, and dinner will be served. Yum. Y'all, it's done. Look at that plate. Look at that All right, plate. It's simple, it's simple. This is a little less than what I should have. I'm supposed to have four and a half ounces. So I'm a little shy, a little bit of protein, so I might put a tiny bit of extra cheese on this if I, if I think I need it or just have a little piece of cheese later. But I am a little slight because I need four and a half ounces. Um, there was another burger, honey. I made you two. Oh, okay. He just got one on his plate, but he was supposed to have two. So here's his. All right, I want him to try the slaw to see what he thinks. Oh, no, snap. I know. I'm, I'm out of slaw, yeah. It's broccoli though, it's not It's not cabbage. Right. It's doable. Well, that's not a very glowing report. <laughs> no, it's really good. <laughs> I, I tasted it before we hit go and I think it's really good. I knew I would like it. Because <clears throat> it's got bacon. Mm-hmm. Cheese, right. ranch, broccoli. What's not to like? So mm. what makes it slaw? Well, the way it's cut, it's supposed to resemble coleslaw. Okay. <coughs> Sorry. So is that, is that what makes slaw, is the cut? I don't know. Well, now I'm going to try my burger. Y'all, sometimes it's just so good to keep it simple. That's right. I mean, really. All right, so burger. Nothing like a good grilled burger with a little barbecue sauce That's on it. That's right. He wouldn't put a little barbecue sauce on his. All right, you guys, this was our lean and green for tonight. This was really short and sweet, but but that that's why I wanted to show you this because it doesn't have to be elaborate. It can be easy on the go. This whole thing took as long as the burgers took to cook. That's how long it took to cook, so like 15 minutes. Right. Super easy. Damn. And that coleslaw, wouldn't that be a fun thing to take to a picnic or a party oh, yeah. or something Especially like that? Especially with the cover. It can go as a drum. It can be it can be the entertainment too. <laughs> Such a hot mess. All right, guys, we're gonna go eat our dinner. You guys have a great, great day. Okay. <laughs> yeah, we're back because y'all my plate's clean. Um that was not only delicious. Oh my gosh, it was so good, but yeah, what he just said. Yeah, I'm not like, you know, sick full like you feel when you eat a heavy, you know, like heavy carbs. I'm just very, very satisfied. Yes. I mean, sometimes, I'll be honest, sometimes I finish a lean and green and I'm like, oh, you know, I'm a little hungry still, but it passes. All right. Mm. At one point I thought, I'm not going to be able to eat all this. I ate it all. Yeah. And so did he. Plate. So did he. And it was so good. All right. Just wanted to give you a review. We've never, <laughs> we've never done that. No, we have not. Never done that. Okay, guys. Full of tricks. Yep, we are. That's All right, you guys have a great day. Uh, Y'all stay safe and stay well. And as always, be blessed. And, and we're, we're out. out. <laughs>